Hello and welcome, Sagittarius. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a collective general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of January, the new year of 2022. Happy New Year, Sagittarius. Sending you all tons of well wishes for an abundant new year. Thank you all for joining me. I greatly appreciate your likes and your subscribes and your comments out there. We're going to start with the Romance Oracles to see what messages will come through for Sagittarius. This reading may not resonate for all of you out there. Keep in mind, you could check your Moon signs, your Venus signs, and your Ascendant signs. So, Sagittarius, let's see what's happening in love for January. What is the advice for January 2022? Okay, free yourself. And at the bottom of the deck here, I believe it was the Six of Swords that I saw. No, this is a hangman energy, Pisces, you could be dealing with. I saw the Six of Swords. So freeing yourself from a situation here that was toxic. Freeing yourself from a karmic is what I feel. It's time to take back control of your life and reclaim your power back, Sagittarius, is what I feel. You had the, north, the south node in your chart for 18 months. The south node moved into Scorpio and the north node moved into Taurus. So it's time for the lessons that you've learned now to, to free yourself. But I feel that there's someone here that's coming in that wants to give this relationship another chance. Right when you're freeing yourself and cutting the cord, Sag, it feels like someone here still wants another chance at this connection. So it feels like someone wants to put the work in and someone here definitely feels like they want to just end this connection and free themselves from it. Let's get another card out. Yeah, soulmate is here. So yes, this is a soulmate. There is a sacred un union here. There's two people here that are in love. I feel that have a very strong bond together here. There's a lot of attraction in this connection here. And I feel that whatever relationship this is, someone here is feeling very much like there's a feeling of a very strong bond here. And you're trying to free yourself, Sagittarius, from something here that I feel you no longer work. It's working on your side here. Romantic feelings are here. Your feelings are very real and worth exploring here. Yeah, there's a lot of chemistry and a lot of bi biology here. There's a lot of romance here is what I feel in this connection, Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what's going on. We're going to get the Grand Tarot Lux out. And I pre-shuffled already. So let's just get the energy overall what's going on, Sagittarius, for you. There it is. Six of Swords. Yeah. It wanted to show itself. So you could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius here. I feel that there's something here that you're regretful, but you're you're feeling it's necessary to move forward now. It feels like you're getting like the light at the end of the tunnel here. And this is where healing begins here. So it feels like for some of you, you could be relocating. There could be travel here that you're doing, Sagittarius. But it feels like you you definitely want to clear your mind now. You want to move past the conflict. Yeah, two of cups, soulmate union here. Two people here that I identify as a sacred union, divine counterparts here, twice showing itself. So what is overall the energy in the situation here? There's a judgment call, okay? There's definitely someone here that wants to repair this connection. This is someone that I feel Sagittarius that you thought was done and gone. This is something rising back up from the ashes. And I feel there is definitely a rebirth here that's taking place. Someone here wants to fix this connection. Someone's coming back from your past. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Someone here that could ha have water in their chart, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person is someone here that's in love with you. This is someone here that I feel that you have definitely a lot of love for Sagittarius. This Queen of Cups could be a mother figure. It could be someone here who has children. If not, it's someone here that, that definitely wants to express a gentle, softer side to themselves. There's someone here that is unconditionally offering you support. This person here wants to come in and express that they're open to healing this connection, is what I feel. So, let's see what the past was. 
in the past page of cups there was an offer in the past here this person could be younger than you page of cups and page of swords so there could have been options in the past here in love air sign yeah and a water sign is what i feel and there's five of wands in the past here there was a level of stagnation delays there was two people in the past that were very competitive over you is what i feel so i feel that there are offers here sagittarius in the past here there was two people that you were dealing with i feel could have been a water sign could have been an air sign could have had fire in their chart also aries leo sagittarius here it feels like there was a battle here. There was somebody here that was fighting to be heard. Um, there was definitely disagreements, competition, conflict here. It feels like somebody here was definitely, there was a level of jealousy here, a level of envious energy, a lot of arguing, a lot of conflict going back and forth here with messages in the past here. It was something here that I feel with the Pisces energy, there was delays here also that was created from this. So it's like something here, definitely you have this eye opener of energy that's coming through in the past that bring enlightenment to you. So Holy Spirit was trying to keep you in this position here to give you a higher perspective, a need for you to look at this at another angle in the past here is what I feel. Things have been in limbo is what I feel here. And I feel you're making this decision for a while. Something here is going on for a while is what I feel. What's in the near future? For Sagittarius. What's in the near future for Sagittarius? The Empress. Venus and Taurus. Libra energy here. So in the near future Sagittarius. You could be connecting with an Empress. This is someone here that this could be you Sag. You could be very diligent right now. Very successful. Very comes. What comes to you naturally is bringing in success for you. I feel that this is all about money, beauty here. It's like something here that you're you're definitely um, aligning to abundance here. And it feels like whatever this is, like I feel it's natural beauty. It comes from deep roots here. Someone here could be pregnant, Sagittarius. There could be a baby involved. I'm picking up someone here who's a mother figure. Someone here who could be giving birth to a child. So be careful if you don't want pregnancy because that's what that is. Someone here is very fertile at this time. Yeah, three of cups here. This is someone here that is your empress is what I feel. Or this is someone here that wants to reconcile with you in the near future. This is two, this is people coming together. This is, yeah, and two of wands. Making a choice, making a decision here in the near future is what I feel. I feel where things begin to start to take shape in the new direction that's opening up here. Someone here wants to make future plans. They want to make a progress in disconnection. Someone doesn't want to have just a love affair. This is someone here, the, the Empress energy. I feel this could be you, Sagittarius. It's like you're not chasing anyone right now. Right now you're connecting with friends is what I feel. I feel right now you're you're in a community, you're celebrating your, your abundance here. You want to make this energy here of to move forward. Two of Wands, something here that you could be connecting with long distance, global networking. It feels like you're getting help from others here. And you're far out expanding here. That brings in a lot of abundance here. Yeah, and it feels like with the Three of Cups, you could just be someone here. Like I feel King of Cups is here also now. Okay, King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here, matching the vibration here to the Queen of Cups. So there is an energetic level of the both of you have mutual feelings for each other. But it feels like someone here definitely wants to open up and express um, the way that they feel. They want to bring a balance back into this connection. Someone here wants to reconcile with you, Sagittarius. Now, the feeling of the challenge that's here is... This is 10 of coins. The 10 of coins is what's challenging this situation right now. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy is there's family that are getting involved in this situation. It's like someone here is very much um, productive, very rich, very earthy. They have a well-established family. 
They have a kingdom here is what I feel. There's an inheritance. I feel Sagittarius. There's a very prosperous family situation, but family are definitely involved. There's coins. There's money that's involved, and that's what the challenge is in this connection, Sag. And I feel with this, ooh, okay. The challenge is, yeah, four of cups, a missed opportunity here. It feels like there was a casual, like this person's not opening, opening up to anything casual. They don't want a casual fling. Someone here is not accepting an offer. It feels like the challenge is, is not accepting to move forward on a situation here that brings in a family situation, abundance. This is someone here that wants stability with you. And I feel with the offer that's coming in here, Nine of Pentacles, someone who's single, independent. Someone here that definitely wants to move up to the next level, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This person is good on their own. They're very successful. They're very independent. They invest in their self here. And I feel they're very confident in, in the decision that they're making here. It feels like what they want to invest is, in is long-term with you. This Ten of Pentacles is what the challenge is, is to move to something that's, that's definitely coming together in alignment. Um, making a choice and putting the values. Someone values you very much Sagittarius here, is what I feel. So let's see the advice from the Holy Spirit for Sagittarius for January. Yeah, soulmate connection here. What is the advice from the Holy Spirit for Sagittarius for January? Okay, Six of Cups is here. Reconciling with the past here, Sagittarius. So you have a very strong connection here with someone that you have a lot of memories with. There's a lot of nostalgia. The past is returning, Sagittarius, in January is what I feel. Someone here that wants to reconcile. They don't want things to end. So you have a Scorpio energy here, Sagittarius, with the death card. This is someone here that had an ending with you that wants to transform things. They want to evolve. They want to move past the old way of being and thinking. They're transforming here. So there's a rebirth, a renewal for a connection here. And I feel that spirit is saying, yes, make this transaction. It's something that's very intense. It's an intense past connection. You have a past life with this person is what I'm feeling also. With the two of swords, someone that can't move on from you. This person is stuck in limbo is what I feel. They're definitely, there's, there's an energy here of stalemate energy, two of swords. It's like, but there's a veil here that's thin. It's like this person definitely has a choice. There's a choice to be made. Someone here is not seeing eye to eye, but they're seeing through this mask. Someone here is definitely seeing through the mask. And this death card is like seeing the changes that are here. Facing the changes. Someone here wants to speak. Eight of cups. Yeah, someone wants to talk. This is someone returning to you. Someone here, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It's like this person here feels very abandoned. There's a feeling of drifting apart from you. A feeling of withdrawing their energy. It's like someone's fighting to be heard in this connection. And this person was invested in you. There's a lot invested. It's like before, like someone's walking out the door. Someone's coming back around from the past here. What is the possible outcome for January in this situation in love for Sagittarius? Yeah, this person wants to make changes in this connection, it feels like. But it feels like you could be walking away. Seven of Pentacles, there's a seed that you planted here, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right? You're viewing this as you don't want to go through another heartbreak with this person, Three of Swords. There was a third party situation here is what I feel. I feel family got into that picture also here. There was a lot of people involved in this connection here. I feel with the seven of pentacles as you're analyzing, you're looking at this if it's worth investing in. You feel that you just wanna dodge this bullet here. You feel like this is someone here that definitely brings in heartbreak into your life is what I feel. So there's still a lot of grief. There's still a lot of sorrow here. 
you don't look at this as, as investing in it anymore. It's like, why should I invest into something where you feel like this person's just gonna do the same thing to you right over again? One more card. One more card. One more card for Sag. <clears throat> Five of coins. This person left you out in the cold before is what I'm hearing. This is someone here that bring in insecurities. There was a lot of worry here. This is someone here that you definitely went through a very dark time here with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So you're viewing it as you wanting to free yourself from a connection that you feel no longer serves your highest potential here is what I feel. Mm -hmm. And then we have Seven of Wands. So you're feeling very defensive. It feels like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's a challenge here. And it feels like you're drawing the, the, you're definitely putting up your guard here. You're drawing the line in the sand here. And you're putting up your guard and your boundaries and you're saying no more. You want to free yourself from someone here that you feel is very competitive. It feels like you're definitely feeling like you don't want to be pulled back down to this level here of going through another heartache. Seven of Wands. Yeah, King of Swords, you're detaching. So you're breaking free from a connection. It's like you, you don't want to be bullshitted again, King of Swords. You could smell the bullshit a mile away. So it feels like you're clear thinking. You're taking an honest approach to this. You're thinking very intellectual at this time. You're very confident. And it feels like you're cutting something off here. And someone's going to be left in a very big disappointment. Five of Cups. This person is regretting this, this loss and this connection. They have deep regrets here. Ten of Swords. There was a big betrayal here. It's like you had ten lessons here in relationships and love that you went through. It feels like this is the end of a very difficult phase. The worst is now over here in this connection. There was a feeling of being backstabbed and being betrayed in the connection here. The moon. There was a lot of things that were hidden. There was a lot of fears here. There was a lot of like Pisces and Cancer. Things that were an illusion here. Things that were definitely done here. Um, you're trusting your intuition here. This person here brings brings in, this person's in deep anxiety. So they're in deep anxiety. They fear that you're going to let them go. They fear that you're walking away, that they can't win you back here. Someone here is at a deep loss here, is what I feel. Yeah, they fear the connection that you're pushing them away from. Okay. So, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you for January. Thank you all for joining me. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I'm not going to go ahead and clarify. We're going to leave this reading short and simple. So I will get back to you in mid-January, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye.